guys, you're back here with Barry, and uh, I want to reintroduce you to two friends of ours, uh, Rob and Michelle, who many of you know because of the uh, the amount of volume on that YouTube. Many of you know that we did a uh, an interview. It was about what? Uh, about a year? April. Uh, April. 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 Yeah. And. Uh, Rob and Michelle came back uh, and decided to spend approximately three months of the winter here to get used to the area and really get a taste of it in and out. And uh, well, I guess uh, with any further, uh, without any further delay, I'm going to reintroduce them. Rob and Michelle, thank you very much for doing this. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your three-month adventure here in the winter. <laughs> about about all the things about. Uh, what you've discovered, uh, you know, friendships about your little ordeal oh. and all that good stuff, and and uh, and we'll promise we'll make this as painless and as quick as possible. <laughs> Go uh, ahead. Well, we came down here to give it a try because I've always wanted to move down to uh, uh, the, the Caribbean or to the, the, the south somewhere uh, to retire, and uh, convincing my wife is uh, being a difficult task, <laughs> and so we she basically said uh, no, she didn't want to do it. So Looking said, at well, her color, though, it didn't seem like she had too rough a time. <laughs> no. But anyway. And uh, <laughs> so we, we came down to, to give it a try for three months to see uh, if she liked it and uh, if she could uh, think about it. Well, it didn't take three months. Uh, in her second month, she decided, yes, she wants to make this permanent. So <laughs> I'm happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I know you've had a little bit of excitement when you moved in, uh, first moved into your little rental place yeah. that you stayed at. Mm. Yeah. Yes, we got robbed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had two people come in at 2 o'clock in the morning, and uh, they stole all our electronics. Mm -hmm. um, so we did catch them. And uh, although that was a bad experience, we had so much support from the community. Oh, yeah. To helping us go back and forth to the, the police stations and the courthouses and making up all the reports and um, they spent days with us yeah. and we just had so much support we're from the community and from uh, the ex-mayor's assistant and, and um, Nelson yeah Nelson, Nelson and yeah. Um, I didn't want to give names just in case but, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. no. but yeah. lots of people were just so helpful from our, our immediate neighbor uh, Judy Brown and Richard Brown um, yeah it was just fantastic so it, it made me feel like we wouldn't get that kind of support at home if it happened. Yeah, even from people in the neighborhood uh, that uh, uh, live here full time, They're, they've been fantastic. Um, everybody we've met here, it's, it's amazing how fast you become real good friends. It's yeah. really, really good. Yeah. We've made so many friends here. We have more friends here now than we do at home. <laughs> You know, it's funny because I'm moving the mic because of the wind, but it's it's kind of funny you're not the first ones to tell us that. Uh, yeah. You certainly aren't. And you, my God, I, I know three, three, four different interviews that said, my God, we have more friends here than we have at home, and mm -hmm. we've been living there for over a decade or whatever. And that, that, it's kind of, maybe there's a bit of truth, even though I'm saying it in, in a comical sense, that it, it is a little bit like Mayberry with Internet from the old Andy Griffith show, you know? Mm -hmm. no. it, in yeah. a way, it is, you know? And um, It's like moving back to the 50s down here. It, it, in a way, it is, because uh, everybody's so friendly, you know? it's uh, You don't think about uh, being robbed or anything. It even didn't deter us at all. It actually brought us closer. Um with all the support and the help and uh, the friendships we've made. Uh, and it was, I don't know, not even a day, and everybody in town knew. <laughs> everybody. It was, yeah, the it was Coconut amazing. Telegraph. Yes. Yeah, it, it, works it was, it good. was great. It really was. So, mu so much support. Uh, <clears throat> it, was, it was fabulous. What about in terms of um, the day to day life? You find it rather peaceful? You find it uh, a little too slow, a little. No. Well, being retired, you get into your little routine, you know, doing your housework, doing your shopping and all the rest. It's nothing that we wouldn't have done at home. And we can we can get everything, basically, that we've got at home here. You know, you might have to go an hour and a half to get some of the things, but yeah. otherwise it's, it's pretty much it's everything a little, you do It's a home. little town. It's, it's a very yeah. quaint little town. It's, it's wonderful. It Just really peaceful. is. Was it this trip or the previous trip that kind of made it clinch that, yeah, it could work? It, well, it feels all right. Was it this trip more than anything else because of the length of it and the people you got yes, to know? Yes, yes. The, the, knowing that I could go and get shopping and I could live here and get everything that I want. And and, um, and she brought her dog. Yeah, yeah that makes a big difference. I know Leanne, Leanne and I would be lost without the pets too, even though I curse at them once in a while <laughs> when they do something bad. Like, 
chase down a chicken and kill a chick or something, I get angry. But other than that, I'd miss them. What would you be able um, to say? I know from our last trip, and it's been a while, but I do remember uh, a lot of things pretty. You were worried about family. Yes. You were worried about, uh, was it homesick, if I use homesickness? No, it, w it wasn't Excuse. so much homesick. <coughs> it's, it's just that moving here, of course, we have kids at home and being able to know that we can stay in contact with them and and but they're grown so you just have to get over that fact that they really don't need you anymore and <laughs> you can no they just need you but in a different way that's yeah. right that's yeah, they'll right. always need you mm -hmm. at least i hope my mom feels that way <laughs> <laughs> but you know uh, did did it surprise you or did did it just flow that way that like hey this this is okay we're not you know we're, we're not 22 hours away in a plane you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. it, it helped it did it did i just um I was really, really worried that I was going to miss them, and it's not that I didn't miss them, I did, but it's just I didn't feel the need to contact them, you know, every day. Um, so I think it'll be good. I think we can still keep in contact well enough that uh, that it'll be good <coughs> enough for both of us. And you think yeah. they're going to be coming out too? Oh, I hope oh, so. Yeah. yeah, they should be. Be able to, uh, it, it really wouldn't be expensive for them when you get a little place built. Mm -hmm. yeah. It really wouldn't. They no. have to eat, right, whether it's... Uh, Ontario or whether it's uh, Dominican Republic, they mm -hmm. still got to eat, and they're going to mm -hmm. eat here a lot cheaper. So one, one thing I found down here uh, was driving. It was a, a, an experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Well, I, I first came down here, and uh, I've uh, well, we've been to the Dominican a number of times, and the driving always seemed a little uh, out of my league. But uh, once I got here, and we rented a car for the three months, and it's been great. I haven't had any problems whatsoever with driving here. I got used to the way everybody works on the road, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like a drive in the country for me now. It's, it's awesome. And Mo was saying something like that when I did a video with a buddy of mine, Mo, in town. He was saying, just don't think of it the way it is where you're from. No, I'll have more of a hard time going back home and driving under the rules of home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's quite a few of them, yeah. So, and tell us, um, well, it, it's, uh, you uh, are going back home and uh, you're going to be securing a pretty cool little piece of property that yes. we found. Yes, yes yeah. we're very excited yeah. about that. It's gorgeous. The property's gorgeous. So. Yeah, it's kind of neat how it found, though, because the original one that you decided on kind of sold. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this wasn't even in the picture at all. It didn't, uh, it wasn't even for sale at the time. It and then fell into place. Sometimes things happen that way. Yeah, yeah. it was meant uh, to be. Yeah, there's <laughs> no question uh, the quality is superior, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. And, and well, uh, we know we know most of the people that are in that project as well now. And yeah, and all, after all us, all I'm still friends. surprised you want to move there. Yeah. Only Leanne and I are going to be right next to you. But, you know, we're kind of quiet that way. But uh, I think we're going to have a hell of a good time in there mm -hmm. with a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. a nice area for sure. I'm kind of sorry to see you guys go because uh, a couple of days ago, uh, <laughs> we had a pretty good time over here. We, <laughs> <laughs> we came over here, you know, for uh, an hour, yeah. you know, and, and all of a sudden that turned into a <laughs> little bit of rum and a little bit of excellent fruit juice, by the way, <laughs> excellent, and uh, a little bit of fun with that, and uh, I hope we didn't overstay our welcome, oh, but then we decided, no. okay, let's go get some pizzas, and yeah, we got home around 7-ish or something like that. It was supposed to be an hour, but it's that's how things go. It was a mm -hmm. lot of fun. We had a lot of laughs, and... I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just want to keep the subscribers. Uh, something feels wrong is growing now, like uh, the way I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with it now, you know, like two, three, four subscribers every day almost. And Leanne's doing a heck of a job. And I, I can't thank you guys enough for helping us to get our, our little region, you know, out of the ozone and in people's eyes and let them know that there are choices. I never say this is the only one. I'm glad you spoke about the break-in. I don't sugarcoat things. It is the way things happen. Mm -hmm. But um, I know sometimes I lose people with my studies on, on, on the universe and frequencies and hertz mm -hmm. and things like that. But what, what that shows me is, is an ex excellent example of what we refer to as higher frequencies. When that happened, you could have easily just packed it in and a lot I'm of gone. A lot of people thought we would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really did. Yeah, and uh, th that that's the choice when you take a step back and you look at different things. Is it either is this or is it an opportunity to use the door closed or one open? Did I learn something or did I fear something? Those are what I mean by frequencies, and it's pretty good. I uh, I truly believe you made the right choice. Mm -hmm. I, I think you're going to really enjoy it. Uh, I wanted to thank you guys for. Uh, 
for doing this. It helps us. It helps others. Uh, it gets the, uh, without saying anything wrong, it gets the kind of family environment and family people that we hope come to Cabrera and the surrounding region to keep it the way it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much. Uh, uh, just have a, a peaceful trip back, and we're going to keep you. in touch. And is there Marvel. any last thing um, that... We'll uh, be back soon. Yeah. Is that a threat or a promise? <laughs> Both. Both. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. That only next time uh, rum and pizza's on me, right? You All right. Up the you and we'll make sure it's well done this time he messed <laughs> yeah. up. You know. Guys, thanks a million. I appreciate it. Okay, Not thank a problem, you. Very That's you were here.